Hello Kawaii friends! Welcome back to my channel! Today's vlog, we're gonna find out how Japanese commemorates and remembers their deceased ancestors and also their deceased cats and dog during Obon holiday. So tara! Let's go! Ikimasha! So guys, nandito na tayo sa cemetery. Ito yung una namin pinuntahan. Dito nakalibing ang lolo at lola sa father side ng aking fiancé. Ohaka Mairi. It is a traditional Japanese custom of when Japanese people go and visit the graveyards of their ancestors and relatives. It is a custom that Japanese people take seriously. Ohaka means grave or tomb, and Mairi means to visit. It is a very important Japanese ritual of going to honor and pay their respects to their ancestors. In this video, he started to replace the water to the cups. Flowers are always placed at the grave. Then he pour water to the flowers. Pouring the water onto the tombstone a little bit at a time and carefully wash the tombstone. And then, we offer incense. And now we're done. And this is how it looks like. So guys, our next destination ay sa grave ng kanyang lola at uncle sa kanyang mother's side.
So guys, nandito na tayo sa ating next destination. At makikita nyo dito na ang lawak at ang ganda ng view. And now he's collecting water in a pail. And kung mapapansin nyo, iba yung itsura ng lalagyan na ng tubig dito kaysa dun sa kabila. Then he will bring a pail of water papunta sa grave ng kanyang relatives. And then kung mapapansin niyo ulit, paakyat yung daan papunta sa grave ng kanyang relatives kasi uh, bundok yung cemetery nila dito. At dito, naligaw kami ng konti dahil nalimutan niya kung nasan yung punton. And finally, natagpuan niya kung nasaan. And then, same thing lang nung kanina ang ginawa namin dito. Obon Festival, also known as Bon Festival, is an annual Japanese holiday which commemorates and remembers deceased ancestors. It is believed that their spirits return at this time to visit their relatives. And now we are done! Pero, meron pa tayong isang pupuntahan. So, ngayon naman, pupunta naman tayo sa cemetery ng kanilang mga alagang aso at pusa na namatay na. Okay. 
At bago kami pumunta doon, pumunta kami sa pet shop. At dito, bibili kami ng food offering para sa kanilang mga namatay ng mga alaga. Ganun nila kamahal. So, eto, nakabili na kami ng food offering para sa kanilang mga alagang na mayapan. So, ayan, nandito na tayo sa Animal Cemetery. So, dito, food and incense offerings lang ang gagawin namin at hindi kami magbubuhos ng tubig sa kanilang mga tom. At dito nga pala ang tom ng kanilang mga yumaong alagang pusa. Sila ay si Sheru at Momo. At dito ang tomb ng kanilang namaya pang aso. Ang pangalan ay Lee. So, ayan. Tapos na talaga guys. Dito nakita natin ang tradition dito sa Japan during Obon Festival which they commemorates and remembers deceased ancestors and also their deceased cats and dog. So guys, eto pauwi na kami. Ito yung daan papunta sa kanilang bahay or apartment. So eto meron akong konting pasilip sa inyo. Pasilip lang sa kanilang apartment. So tara! At eto, nag-doorbell ako kasi nandun sa loob ang mother ng aking fiancé. Today, mother. So, ito, pinapasok na ako ng mother ng aking fiancé. At dito, sa place na to, hinuhubad namin ang aming mga sandals and shoes. Ang tawag dito ay Genkan.
Thank you for watching, Kawai friends. Sana may natutunan kayo for today's vlog. And please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you!